Beauty day out today. Look at this. The sun is out. It stopped raining. We got a bit of snow this morning. This weather is freaking driving me nuts. Like, can you just make up your mind? Are you going to rain or are you going to snow? Because every other day is just pissed me off. Anyways, what's up, guys? How's it going? I had the flu yesterday. I was down and out. I always say, I never get sick. My immune system is so good. And then it finally got me. Like, everyone is sick right now. And finally hit me i literally puked from like three in the morning till four or five p.m yesterday so then i got a good sleep had some nyquil and woke up today i'm still not 100 percent. i feel like i don't know maybe 70 75 so i've been a little dizzy my stomach isn't the best i can eat now though which is nice because puking is no fun you know i don't yeah it's just it sucks <laughs> just hugging the toilet Jamming your head in there, puking everywhere. Oh, it wasn't fun. Oh, well, I didn't puke anywhere else. I made it to the toilet every time. So anyways, good news. My new truck is in. Um, so I'm going to go take a look at it. I don't get it actually till next week. There's all the paperwork and all that fun stuff they got to do. So hope you guys enjoyed the um, what video went up. The wakeboarding one. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. The enjoyed the wakeboarding snowmobile video. So I'm glad we did it then because the river from all the rain has shot back up again. It is so wide. I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna head down there and show you guys how crazy it is down there, but she'll drop back down again in a day or two. So the sled's been working good. Yeah, I love this thing. So, you know, I just bought her for water skipping and that's what she's been doing. So it's definitely so much fun. I wasn't exactly sure if it was gonna pull the wakeboard. Like I knew it would, but at the same time, I didn't know if it was really gonna like, you know, once we get out there, all of a sudden it kind of bogs down because there's a lot of weight to pull. So, or weight to be dragging, you know, it's not like a boat with a prop. It's, it's just got a track skipping across, you know, water. So, but it worked well. So I'd like to try it again and go a lot farther, but uh, it definitely is hard on a wakeboard on ice. It's not like it's a snowboard where you can carve and stuff. You're basically, you know, riding almost a sheet of plywood on ice. So it would be cool to go pretty far up the river. So. Maybe next time, try her out. But uh, yeah, for now, I'm gonna head down the river. We'll show you what's going on there and then we'll uh, go check out the new truck. As you can see here, most of the snow is gone and the lawn has turned into mainly an ice rink. It's, she's rock solid, but uh, yeah, the sun's out. I can't complain about that. Let's see how the river looks. All right, this is it. She is flowing. Blowing good. It actually looks like it's already dropped off a bunch. It looks like it was, you know, about up to here, but she dropped down. It's crazy how fast this river goes up and down. Like, you know, for how much, how many millions and billions of gallons of water flows down it for, you know, a minute. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you, but see, that's right where we kind of got off in the wakeboard while it's underwater now. And we went way up there, but pretty crazy, eh? I wish I could skip the sled today, but you know, it is a little high right now and I don't feel 100%, so probably wouldn't be a good idea, but I figured I'd come down here and show you guys what's up. And it's crazy like how high the water does get up to. And it has taken out the fence before too. Only once, once or twice, I think, so. Hopefully it doesn't get that high again. I just had a, a Toronto company, the Red Sound Sea Dews, they contacted me. They want to bring down some sea Dews and rip up the river sometime. So I told him that, yeah, we can do it. I don't know how we would do it, but we can do it. So you just have to do it like right now or, you know, when we have the big thaw in the spring, just so you're not banging off too many rocks. So anyways, let's head back up to the house. We'll uh, hop in the old Ford and go see the new Ford. Go check her out. Freshy truck. All right. This is the last time, one of the last times you're gonna see this truck. She's getting traded in. Time for a freshie. She needs to clean too. We got all salt. Salt and crap. Whew. Yeah, let's go test out that new truck. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys like it. The old Ford is leaking again. Can you see that? It's coming through. It's probably just frozen up here again. Anyways, should we try throwing this thing in reverse again at 100 kilometers an hour? I don't see why not. <laughs> uh, too much fun. All right, we're in M. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whoops, accidentally put it in second there. 
All right, let's get to the dealership. Look at this water. Very moist. Look at it. Look at it coming through. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, let's get over there. Back to the old Ford dealership. Let's see if we can find this truck. Take it for a spin. All right, there's the old whip. And now we got the new whip. <laughs> Switch from black to white. 2018. 2018. Freshy. Woo. They even washed it. Look at this. So what's the big differences here? Big differences, uh, obviously interior wise. That's gonna be a huge upgrade for you, obviously in this. Oh, She's a little. Besides that different sound system as a lot well. Better. You got the the Bang and Olsen and that one. Uh, Sprain bed liner. You got your new tailgate step. Do you have the tailgate step in the other yeah. one? Yeah. So you got that one. She's white. She is white. She's Completely a, different color. She's an EcoBoost. She is. I switched to the dark side. The three fiber. I, I convinced my buddy to get a V8, yeah. or, and then I got a V6. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I got the 10-speed transmission in this one now. So. She's twin turbo though, so yeah. it makes up for it. Doors are Can't locked. get in. Hopefully, she's a little better on fuel. She's got the side sensors. Apparently, no antenna. I like the grill. She's looking good. Yeah, the interior is the best part on it. Yeah. I mean, I like the brown in mine, but this is the, what do you call this color? The uh, Marcella? Mar I, that's what I want to call it too, yeah. Marcella. Yeah. It is a nice yeah, brownie a orange. Oh, it's even got that new car smell. Now, does this have CarPlay in it? Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, CarPlay. My truck didn't. It was the worst. Yeah, yeah. New update on that one. There's still some plastic on it. Oh, I'm sure there's lots of plastic Lost on it. Lost the plastic. <laughs> it's the new truck, so what happens. Is this laid up now too? The platinum? Or is that no, only the, no. the 350s yeah, or the Super Duty? Okay. We'll Sweet. leave that until you actually pick it up. Well, let's take it for a spin. No, no sunroof. I didn't want the sunroof this time. I hate sunroof for some reason. No. I don't know why. No need to open it. Yeah, Three no. times a year. Only my we friends live in Canada. <laughs> Alright. The new whip. Whew. I like it. It's comfortable. It has massaging seats. No sunroof, but it does have the parallel park assist. So I think we should try that out later. I've tried it out once in the other trucks, but uh, yeah. It's twin turbo, so it's super fast. You can beat all the Honda Civics now. Um, yeah, I really like this color. 100%. Yeah, this color is sweet. Yeah. I mean,. My old, old truck was black inside, then my last, the one I have now is like the Brunello, I think it's called. The light, the brown, and then this is like more of a lighter orangey brown, so I, I really like this. It's very classy, like, you know. Has the heated steering wheel? You know, I'm here for business, but I like to party too. <laughs> uh, the heated steering wheel, yeah, I have that on my old truck, so, and I love it. I just think it's in a weird spot under the, the climate control. If anyone else has a similar truck, this is where the heated steering wheel is. It took me like six months to figure out where it was. All right, let's uh, give me a little gas. Let's see if we can beat the Mercedes here. I like how the, the F-150 is sound too. Yeah, they actually pump an artificial sound into them. The 3.5. <laughs> really? Yeah, 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 they do. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm dead serious. <laughs> so that roar and everything you hear, it's, it's a little bit fabricated. <laughs> I'm not even surprised a little bit. Yeah. I love it. And she's got 12 kilometers on it. So that's good. We're starting fresh, boys. <laughs> All right, well, let's head back and... Uh, Sign the papers. Uh, sounds like a turbo. Well, this is the weapon. I like those lights on the front. <laughs> hey, that's my truck. Anyways, figured I'd show you guys a new truck. I pick it up actually on Monday, so it is Wednesday right now. So I'm gonna head home, and I have volleyball later. I probably shouldn't go because I still don't feel 100%. But I'm gonna go because you know that's who I am. So let's jump in the old piece here and head out to volleyball. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later.